I can get anything at any time for my family and for me. After work or before getting started, that's amazing. And I can't imagine it being any different anymore. We can choose from so many great options to enjoy ourselves. We like to go to the movies, theaters, museums, or exhibitions. We are always close to something new and exciting. We can get there fast and easy. For us, that's what quality of life is all about. The city is a place to express yourself. A place of freedom. Life is pulsating here. Absolutely awesome. I work, I forget about everything else. Sometimes also to shop for food. But that's not a problem anymore. I just order it online. It makes life so much easier. Cities are full of new ideas, full of new technologies. We love to be right in the middle, to be part of future in the making. We love to see our grandchildren growing up, and of course we want them growing up safe, in a clean and healthy environment. Love living in the city. And we love to make the city a better place. For them, for you, for us. Daimler. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome all of you to our traditional media night here in Hanover. We have around 600 guests here from 36 nations and also some special guests I would like to acknowledge personally. First of all, Matthias Wismann, the president of the VDA, and Eric Jonat, the secretary general of ACEA as well as Dr. Susanne Zapreva, the CEO of Enercity, and her entire team. Enercity runs this power plant. They are our hosts tonight. Thank you very much for having us. It's a great place to be here. Tonight, we are embarking on a great journey. And to begin that journey, this power plant is a perfect location. Why? Because to our modern lifestyle, two things are vital, electricity and transportation. And even more important, in the next era, electricity and transportation will meet. They'll make a great connection. That said, there's another very obvious reason for being here tonight. It's just a terrific location. Just look at this. It's just awesome. All right, let's get started with tonight's journey into the future of transportation. You may remember that at our last IAA, we showed you our vision for long-haul transportation. We introduced the world's first autonomous truck and its potential to make transportation safer and more efficient than ever. And we also upgraded that system with connectivity. Now, Highway Pilot Connect also enables platoons of autonomous trucks. This year, our IAA Media Night is not about long haul. This year, it's all about urban transportation. 
It's about making urban transportation efficient, safe, and connected. It's all about making cities a better place for everyone. We focus on cities because this is where more and more people will live. By 2050, cities will be home to 70% of the world's population. So more and more urban transportation is required. Transportation for goods and for people. Let me, let, you, let me give you some numbers to make it more tangible. By 2050, for example, the additional amount of milk needed in cities around the world will require 50,000 additional truck deliveries every day. For beef, it's more than 40,000 additional truck deliveries. And the three megacities, New York, Delhi, and Tokyo alone, may need more than 40,000 additional buses to move their additional citizens around. As you can imagine, this creates quite a few challenges. Challenges regarding emissions, noise, infrastructure, and congestion. Challenges that can dramatically influence the quality of life in our cities. Our goal is to provide answers to these challenges. So how do we do that? In a nutshell, we are pioneering innovations for city traffic. We're pioneering e-mobility, and we're pioneering connectivity, connectivity, and we are pioneering autonomous driving. This means, first and foremost, we're, de we're de developing vehicles of a completely new kind. Our Mercedes-Benz urban e-truck will deliver goods into the cities emission-free and quietly. Our Mercedes-Benz Vision Van will serve private homes emission-free and quietly. And our Mercedes-Benz Future Bus will operate semi-autonomously, making a bus ride more attractive and comfortable than ever. But we don't stop with the vehicle. We take it even further. We go way above and beyond hardware. We'll give you all the details tonight during tonight's presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, as rational and as engineering driven our industry and our company may be, the guts remains as important as well. Products have to be emotionally appealing. Products have to be delightful. And there's no one better to explain this than our chief design officer, Gordon Wagner. Gordon, please. Thank you, Wolfgang. Good evening and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure to be here again and share with you a look into the future. For me, as a designer, this is daily routine. Being in our studios around the globe, it's like being in a different time zone. You have to fast forward your watch at least five to ten years. With increasing digitalization and connectivity, it becomes even more important to envision the future. Urban areas will get more complex and our cars and trucks should make life easier. The future will face a paradigm shift in many ways. Let me share you a few. From complex to simple, from mechanics to intelligence, from function to experience, or from default to personalization. As designers at Daimler, we are driving this paradigm shift in our daily work. We try to create better places which are also beautiful. Therefore, we take a holistic approach. We design products that fit perfectly to our brands, such as our Mercedes-Benz style yacht, the interior of a helicopter or private jet. But also a world of transportation that moves digital solutions as well as vehicles. 
And everything we do follows a strict thinking and philosophy that basically consists of two things. The first one is emotion, which is the beauty, the heart, the sex appeal in the design. The other one is the intelligence, which is the purity in design in order to create long life solutions that are high tech looking. And the combination of these two poles is our design philosophy of sensual purity. Everything we do starts from and comes back to the sensuality on one hand and purity on the other. In a nutshell, we call this hot and cool. The hot aspect is about falling in love. The cool aspect represents the fact that our designs look unexpected and unique. Let me show you how our hot and cool philosophy defines tonight's three vision vehicles. And let's start with our visionary Mercedes-Benz Future Bus. Inspired by contemporary deconstructive architecture, this bus fits perfectly into urban environments. It is really cool and unexpected. The interior is a rolling lounge concept that makes this bus become a third place for its passengers. A hot environment where people feel at home and share the ride together. The next hot and cool thing tonight is the Mercedes-Benz Vision Van, the redefinition of a delivery van. Accordingly, we created perfect proportions and highly sensual surfaces to make this Vision Van a very emotional vehicle. Besides, we have designed a super cool, clear, and minimalist shape, which creates a seamless experience. An unexpected highlight is the new interpretation of our significant diamond grill. We transferred this unique signature into the digital world so the vision van can communicate with its environment. The interior we redefined completely as we left out the steering wheel, the paddles, and the center console. We stripped down highly complex technology to its fundamentals in order to make it extremely user-friendly. The vision van is a piece of design that is intelligent and beautiful at the same time. Last not least, ladies and gentlemen, there is our Mercedes-Benz Urban e-truck. After presenting our visionary future long-haul future truck here two years ago, our Urban e-truck is the next logical step. The forms of his cap are soft and flowing and extremely reduced. No visible joints disturb the central look. The round, high-tech shape is not only a tribute to beauty and modernity, but also to improved aerodynamics. In contrast, there are highly technical and precise cool design details, such as the light, the mirrors, uh, the grill. This new high-tech grill comes as a black panel LED display, making it a communication element. The digital interior uses two displays that are highlighted with blue indirect backlight. To sum up, the Urban e-truck, which you will see in just a couple of minutes, is a prime example that beauty and intelligence can go hand in hand with our commercial vehicles. Ladies and gentlemen, with these three visions, we are looking at the entire range of Daimler transportation to create holistic concepts that will change urban areas. I see it as our responsibility to simplify the appearance of innovative products and technologies, and at the same time, making them really hot and cool. Thank you very much.
more and more people living in urban areas. Uh, that means uh, concentration is already there and will go on. And that will be a huge, huge task from a public transport point of view to provide answers that all those people can live in cities on the one hand, have a sustainable place to live, and on the other hand, coming in and going out of cities. So, yes, it's, it's a huge task. De opdrachtgever wil dat je op tijd rijdt. De passagier wil comfortabel gevoerd worden. Uh, en de chauffeur ja, die wil gewoon uh, veilig en op tijd naar passagiers kunnen vervoeren. Dus dat zal een grote uitdaging worden in de toekomst. En ik denk dat je meer automatische systemen gaat krijgen. Het zou heel erg wenselijk zijn. Dat geeft de chauffeur rust, zodat hij weet dat er ook om hem heen op hem gelet wordt en dat alles veilig is. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very glad to see everyone here tonight. Just two months ago, we had our world premiere of this vehicle in Amsterdam. It was an exciting day for us. And judging from the great reactions from all over the world, it seems that many people were excited as well. I'm glad to introduce this great piece of engineering to this global audience tonight. And I'm also happy to explain what else we have on our list to support the vision Wolfgang Bernhardt outlined a few minutes ago. To make city life better. The video we just saw illustrates one way to do so very clearly. We need highly efficient public transportation to get people from A to B in urban areas. Obviously, city buses play an important role in this respect today. And they can play an even more important role tomorrow. Our Mercedes-Benz Future bus is key to all this. We have two things working for us. All new technology and all new design. You have heard about the design part from Gordon, so let's me talk some more about technology. Our Mercedes-Benz Future Bus drives semi-autonomously thanks to the City Pilot system. City Pilot takes all of the know-how from our highway pilot systems for trucks. And we have developed additional functions for city traffic. Our city pilot exchanges information with traffic lights. It can pull in and out of bus stops. It can drive through tunnels. And it recognizes and step stops for pedestrians. All this means driving in our future bus is extremely smooth, safe, and efficient. The natural environment of city pilot is a BRT line or bus rapid transit. With a Mercedes-Benz future bus, everyone benefits. Operators gain from lower total cost of ownership thanks to improved fuel efficiency. Passengers will be safer, more comfortable, and will have a better chance of arriving on time. And drivers will experience less strain. Ladies and gentlemen, we have many ideas to suit the need of our customers. On the one hand, we will simply keep offering the best buses, but on the other hand, we also develop ideas and systems to use these buses in an optimum way. We will develop ideas beyond hardware. One field of application will be e-mobility. We already announced 
that Daimler Buses will launch its first all-electric bus by 2018. These buses will be based on our Mercedes-Benz Citaro, the most successful city bus of the world. In the past years, we have been doing intensive test fleeting. Now, our focus is on two things, to make it ready for series production, and most important, to offer a product that makes a valid business case for our customers. The most important issue in that regard is efficient energy management. To ensure that, we will consult cities implementing emission-free bus fleets. They will be able to handle their electric fleets as easily as their conventional ones. To that end, we will work closely together with them, for example, to find the right battery size and the corresponding charging infrastructure. Another area where we combine hardware and software is connectivity. There's virtually no end to the benefits that come out about the intelligent use of real-time data in public transport. Avoiding traffic jams is a big one. Booking a ride via smartphone is another one. And operations can manage capacities based on real needs and passenger volumes. In order to implement all these ideas, we established a new department, Daimler Buses Mobility Solutions. This team forms a creative core that will develop ideas around connectivity, electric driving, and whatever other developments the future may bring. Right now, there's a lot of change starting to happen in the bus industry, with autonomous buses, connected buses, and electric buses becoming a reality step by step. We will be the drivers of that change. Right now, we have the opportunity to help develop modern, sustainable public transport. And this is a responsibility that we must and will fulfill. Making city life better, this is also the aspiration of our van colleagues. They gave us a pretty spectacular preview of their vision about two weeks ago. Now, I'm curious to learn about all the details from my colleague, Volker Morninweg. Thank you. There are different uh, challenges, um, and most of them are coming from the behavior of the people. Next uh, five years, we are expecting a more than 20% annual uh, growth rate for e-commerce. The challenges for the car manufacturers are they have to transform uh, to be in future not only a car producer and car seller, but to be a partner in a partnering concept, uh, to be part of the business model of the value chain. The first thing companies need to do is they need to actually understand the future. They have to be smart, intelligent with data, because data is what drives all of the R&D, the research, the changes, the possibilities. So transformation means in reinventing the business model, the concept. Mobility is being reinvented from ownership to access. So to be agile, to, uh, to listen, to pay attention to new things, to question things. Ladies and gentlemen, we heard it from our experts. Change is vital. We have already heard about the massive changes through urbanization and digitalization. And I would like to tell you tonight about another fundamental transformation. The change within Mercedes-Benz vans and the reinvention of our business model. To make a long story short, we are evolving from a manufacturer into a provider. We are enhancing and expanding our business, going from developing and producing vans to providing complete transport solutions. We are connecting our core product to every aspect of our customer's value chain. 
and thinking far beyond the vehicle itself. Not quite two weeks ago, at our van innovation campus, we introduced this transformation to the public. Over 200 guests heard about our new way of thinking. They experienced connectivity solutions, delivery and cargo space innovations, new rental and sharing models, future vehicle concepts, and our newly formed partnerships with promising startups. All these fields of innovations are part of our new initiative, ADVANCE, our road to the future of transportation. ADVANCE consists of three action fields. With digital ADVANCE, we make our vans part of the Internet of Things. With solution ADVANCE, we offer our customers a new approach to all kinds of hardware-based solutions. And with mobility ADVANCE, we become a mobility provider. We also announced that we will invest about 500 million euros within the next five years for this initiative. And the media response identifies there seems to be a lot of interest all over the world. For us, the mission is clear. Our van of the future will be fully integrated into our customers' workflow, embracing new technologies and boosting efficiency. Let me explain this new approach with automated delivery systems. Delivery on the last mile is one of the typical things for our vans. The last mile often amounts to the majority of the total delivery costs. So we are working hard to enhance this part of the transport chain by optimizing cargo space and simplifying the working process for our customers. We do so by integrating smart technologies into the van. One of the most impressive innovations in this field are drones and robots. At our main innovation campus, we already showed how this kind of delivery will start a revolution of the transport chain. And my team still gets misty-eyed when they talk about the delivery drone landing on the top of the vision van during its reveal. For the future, this means our vans will be become motherships with drones and robots swarming out. They support fast, efficient and reliable delivery on the last mile. One of the most promising projects in this field is Starship Technologies. It's a company that builds self-driving delivery robots. By combining the benefits of our vans with the efficiency of Starship robots, we highly improve the value chain of our customers. But this approach, approach only works if all parts are highly integrated. So we developed the first prototype with a unique shelf system. It enables a fast and convenient deployment of up to eight robots while minimizing human packing faults. The mothership provides the necessary intelligence to overlook and optimize the system at any point. With this technology, our vans will be a cornerstone of robotic delivery disrupting the last mile logistics of the future. In the end, this kind of delivery will raise cost efficiency and reduce traffic in densely populated inner cities. But robotic deliveries are only one aspect of future transportation. At Mercedes-Benz Vans, we are working on a whole range of innovations in this field. Many of them come together in our vision van, a van that offers the intelligence of a modern logistic hub and enables new approaches for same-day and time-definite delivery. It is a van and a vanguard, a vision of the constant change to come. But see for yourselves.
What a great vehicle, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> hey. Some emotions, please, no? It will transform delivery in many ways. With a fully automated loading system, integrated delivery drones, and a unique way of communicating with its environment via LED panels, front and rear. Also, it's locally emission-free because of its electric drivetrain. This is an important field of innovation, and the vision van benefits from it. E-mobility improves our quality, air quality, and lowers noise levels. It extends the service life of the powertrain due to a lower complexity of the whole system. And it offers higher efficiency with lower total cost of ownership. At our Van Innovation Campus, I promised to give you more concrete information on this topic. And I'm very proud to announce today that we will build a fully electric Mercedes-Benz van in serious production starting in 2018. It's the first result of a new project we call eDrive Advance. This will push a newly developed powertrain for our van portfolio. To me, this is electric mobility at its finest, optimized for urban areas, tailor-made for delivery with the necessary performance of and for transportation. It comes with a scalable battery size for fast or overnight charging, just as the business of our customers demand. In certain use cases, this electric drive will now be comparable to combustion when it comes to the total cost of ownership. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sure we will sense that this is the beginning of a new era. A new digital era of transportation, but also a new era for Mercedes-Benz vans. Because we change. With Advance, we boldly go our own way, leaving the beating tracks. It is an action plan for our company's future in transportation. As of now, we are providing transport solutions for the digital era. Our vision van gave you a glimpse of it. The van of the future will be a connector. It will connect all parts of a value chain and enable versatile exchange between every relevant stakeholder. And it will be tailor-made for every kind of urban transportation. This is our way to make cities a better place. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you agree these vehicles are really special. Our bus and our van. But one vehicle is still missing. We want to show you an all new truck tonight our mission free Mercedes Benz urban e truck. As you may know, we already introduced its electric drive technology in July in Stuttgart. Some of you joined us back then. Tonight, we'll give you the full picture. We will show you the full beauty of our urban e-truck, and we'll also show you how we went beyond hardware and added intelligence to the concept. As you may know, for the everyday use of electric vehicles, the remaining range is an important issue. Our engineers worked hard to solve this issue, and they came up with a perfect solution. They added connectivity and developed a tool called Intelligent Range Management. My colleague Sven Ennis will have all the details in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for tonight's world premiere. Let's get ready for a truck that starts a new era of truck transportation, a truck that combines e-mobility and connectivity in a completely new way. Let's get ready for our Mercedes-Benz urban e-truck.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I drove quite a few vehicles in my life, but this one is really special. I am pleased to show you our latest truck, our Mercedes-Benz Urban e-truck. And as you could hear, it is unbelievably quiet. And as you can see, this vehicle also looks just great. I'm quite sure people will be happy to see this truck in the city. The Urban e-truck's design is very pure, very clear, and at the same time, it expresses a lot of positive emotions. This is not only true of the exterior, it is also true of the interior. This truck will be a great place to work. The driver will feel very comfortable, and he will also feel very well supported. The control panel is very clearly laid out. Gordon and his design team, they got their job done extremely well. Let's now look at the technology to see what our engineers accomplished. Our starting point for this truck were our customers and their clear expectation. In urban areas, they want to be able to deliver goods with zero emissions. This is exactly what our Mercedes-Benz Urban e-truck allows them to do. It's the world's first electric truck for heavy distribution, and it perfectly meets the requirements for urban transport. It can cover up to 200 kilometers on one battery load, and it can do so with a total weight of 25 tons, while cooling its cargo along the way. Its payload of 12.8 tons is comparable to trucks with a conventional powertrain, and with the right equipment, it charges in no more than two hours. We first introduced the electric drive technology of our urban e-truck at the end of July. Tonight, we've got a great update to our e-truck story. As Wolfgang Bernhard already mentioned, we go beyond hardware. We add connectivity. By doing so, we developed the perfect solution for our customers, a system called Intelligent Range Management. This system enables the driver, as well as the fleet owner, to handle e-mobility in a very easy, smooth, and superior way. It helps when planning a tour for delivery, and it helps when driving the tour, especially when something unexpected happens. It does so by analyzing real-time data on the vehicle, the tour, the temperature, the load, traffic, and much, much more. These data derive from the truck and also from a new prototype of our telematic system Fleetboard, called Fleetboard for Urban Distribution. Let me explain how intelligent range management works in detail. Let's start with the first step. The dispatcher is setting up a tour for delivery. When doing so, all details of the tour go into our intelligent system. Topography, expected traffic flow, number of tons loaded, and many more inputs. Now our system calculates the projected amount of electric energy needed for this route and suggests the perfect driving mode. That covers planning the tour. So let's now see what happens when the truck is on its way. Let's switch to the driver's perspective. He's got two screens that show all the information he needs. On the secondary screen on his right-hand side, he can see the entire tour, including his current position, and all delivery points. On his primary screen, he gets all the data he needs to drive most efficiently. For example, if there is an area with a speed limit ahead, the driver gets a signal in time. And there's even more intelligence. On top of the screen, the driver gets a very central piece of information. Based on real-time data, a pair of scales shows him if the predicted range is developing as planned. As you can see here, the pair of scales is well balanced. The planned range is on par with the actual range, so everything is all right. This pair of scales is a very powerful tool. It's very powerful because it helps to build trust. And trust is what our Mercedes-Benz trucks stand for. And that's true for our e-trucks as well. We want to provide absolute certainty to the driver that he can reach his destination as planned. And he will. Still, once in a while, something unexpected happens. 
for example, the truck can get stuck in a traffic jam, that could not be predicted. In this case, the truck might need more energy for the tour than our intelligent range management system had calculated at the beginning. And the system indicates that to the driver. As you can see, the pair of scales, they get out of balance. So what does our intelligent range management do? Very straightforward, proving intelligence through connectivity. The system comes up with a solution. To save energy, it can change the driving mode. In exceptional cases, it can even schedule intermediate charging at the delivery stop to get extra energy. And this balances the pair of scales again. So you see, no matter what may happen, our Mercedes-Benz Urban e-truck will be 100% fit for everyday use, thanks to our intelligent range management. Intelligent, connected, and ahead of time. That's what this vehicle stands for. In our Mercedes-Benz Urban e-truck, connectivity meets e-mobility to the benefit of our customers. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just incredible to see such a big vehicle move so quietly. This is truly amazing technology, but as much as we are in love with our urban e-truck, we also thought about its cost. I'm very honest with you, today the price tag on our urban e-truck would be considerably higher than that of a conventional truck. But we're working on that. In the next years, we'll bring the production costs down considerably. Batteries will become much more affordable. And there's more good news for our customers. The higher purchasing cost of our urban e-truck can be offset by lower operating cost. Why is that? First, because the service costs will be lower. An electric truck requires less maintenance. And second, because energy costs will be lower. The cost of electricity is roughly 40% less than the cost of diesel. And that's still not the end of the story. Because we won't just sell the vehicles to our customers, Again, we think beyond the hardware, we think about how to connect the, the truck to the grid. Together with Mercedes-Benz Energy GmbH, a newly formed company, we came up with a smart solution called Truck to Grid Management. This solution has multiple benefits for our customers. Let me just highlight three. Number one, picture a customer with 10 urban e-trucks. If he charges them all at the same time, that would require 1.5 megawatts, which is enough to let the lights in his neighborhood go dark. Our truck to grid management will make sure customers can avoid such expensive peak loads by providing a charging strategy that fits perfectly. Benefit number two. We will enable our customers to earn extra money. While the truck is parked, they can use its battery to provide paid energy services like grid balancing. Benefit number three, to let our customer play this energy game even more professionally, we'll be offering an energy storage. So as you can see, we've got everything in place to make our urban e-truck a great offering. On top of what we presented in July, we added quite a few extra extras to the electric powertrain today. First, our electric range management, making our urban e-truck fit for everyday use. And second, we introduced our truck to grid management that provides all energy services our customers may need. Ladies and gentlemen, let me sum it all up. Tonight, Daimler is pushing the door wide open to emission-free transportation in cities. We do so with our all-new electric trucks, vans, and buses. Just imagine what difference these vehicles will make. They will make our cities cleaner and quieter. They will make our life more enjoyable. 
they will be highly welcomed by urban life. Now put them together with the technologies we presented at the last IAA. Think about the power of autonomous driving and connectivity for long-haul transportation. Now one thing becomes crystal clear. In the coming 10 years, there will be more changes in our vehicles than in the past 120 years. We are on the edge of a new era, a new era we all can look forward to, and Daimler will be its pioneer. Thank you very much.